Hi, this is JB from No The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to a special video this time. I am honored to spoil a couple of cards from the upcoming The Feast of Hemlock Vale Investigator expansion. FFG was kind enough to include me into the spoiler season. And uh, well, without further delay, we have a couple of uh, interesting cards to spoil for you. So let's get going. The first one is a really interesting one. It is Vamp. Uh, Vamp is a one cost event for rogues and it has three experience cost, uh, two wild icons, trick traded and uh, parlay, choose an enemy at your location and any number of skills, one at a time, in any order, test each chosen skill, difficulty 2. For each test you succeed, if it was a willpower test, remove one doom from that enemy, uh, intellect test, discover one clue at the enemy's location, an agility test, automatically evade that enemy, move it to a connecting location if it is not non-elite. And finally, um, combat deal two damage to that enemy. And this is the card number 81 from the Hemlock Vale Investigator expansion and illustrated by Christine Thomas. So, uh, Vamp is an interesting one. Uh, it uh, compresses four different things into one action. So, you get to parlay and remove doom from an enemy, uh, discover one clue, uh, uh, automatically evade that enemy and move it to a connecting location if it's not elite and deal two damage to that enemy. So quite a lot happening in this card. So first off, um, who likes this card? Well, of course, the new rogue investigator from the back uh, from the expansion Alessandra Sorsi. Uh, so Alessandra can include parlay cards uh, in her deck so she really gets to utilize her uh, you may take an additional action during your turn which can only be used to parlay so with this uh, she gets a free action which comprom uh, compresses actions for different actions actually into one. So that's really powerful. So of course, uh, Alessandra doesn't have a really good combat, uh, only two, but the other stats are decent for this test. So you are up by at least one in every other category. But, of course, you can uh, use cards to boost the combat, and you don't have to do each of these tests. So you can uh, cherry-pick the ones you really need. So uh, I'm, I'm really seeing this as a good card for uh, Alessandra. Of course, uh, Vamp is a trick-traded card. So, of course, Rita Young, the athlete, can use trick cards. So... Uh, with Rita's that line, you would focus more on the uh, willpower, combat, and agility tests. So I think with uh, Rita, uh, this could see some play. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm really liking uh, this card as a really jack of all trades card that you can use in many different situations or. Uh, combining the different tests uh, to gain the ma maximum benefit out of this one. So, uh, let's continue here. So, uh, what cards are really good combined with Vamp in your deck building? Uh, of course, Chuck Fergus makes this uh, a really strong card. It is trick traded, so Chuck Fergus uh, can make it fast, can make it cost zero, or uh, you get plus two skill value while performing a skill test during the resolution of that event. So I think by choosing that one, you get plus two to each of your uh, skills while resolving them on this 
car, but of course I might be mistaken. Um, it says uh, while performing a skill test, uh, so you are testing uh, four different skill tests at maximum. So I'm I'm pretty sure you can use it to all of them or at least one of them. So you could focus on using that for the worst one. It's only one costed, so it's not that expensive. But the fast is really good. So even without uh, Alessandra Sorsi's ability, uh, you could just uh, make it fast and get uh, benefits uh, other ways from Chuck Fergus. Uh, the other card I am really interested in seeing that uh, used in combination with Vamp is to boost your uh, low skill with Savant to a higher level. So for example Alessandra Sorsi uh, has a two combat so with Savant uh, that would get uh, boosted to let's see uh, so uh, two plus three is the second highest so this would gain three wild icons so that would be uh, 3 plus 1 plus 2 is 6. So you would be testing uh, 6 versus 2 for the combat one. Of course, the best card to combo, combo this parlay card that has skill test is Fine Clothes. Uh, level 1 or the upcoming uh, level uh, 2, I think, or was it level 3? I can't remember. I'm not sure when the upgraded one is coming, so I'm not talking about that that much. Um, so, with fine clothes, uh, Vamp gains plus two to every... Uh, or you... Uh, uh, you get plus two to each of your attempts. So, this is really powerful with fine clothes. Of course, there are a lot of other cars that... Uh, have been already revealed uh, during the spoiler season. I'm not talking about those because there might be some others coming or while I'm filming this uh, I haven't seen all of them that have been uh, already uh, revealed during the spoiler season. But uh, well that is vamp for you and some cars that really key off of uh, using vamp. But uh, we have another card to uh, reveal. So this is not a rogue card. It is not a guardian card. It is not a mystic card or survival card and not a neutral card. So it is a seeker card. Well, I'm not that keen on playing seekers, but hear me out. Uh, we have Confound. Uh, Confound is a two-cost event with three experience cost. One willpower icon, one intellect icon, insight and trick traded. Parley, choose an enemy at your location, test intellect X, where X is the chosen enemy's evade value. If you succeed, discover two clues at your location. Then, if the, enemy, uh, if the chosen enemy is non-elite, automatically evade it. It does not ready during the next upkeep phase. It'll never work, Herbert. And this is the card number 37. And uh, from the set, I think, and uh, illustrated by Andrea Ugrai. So, uh, Confound. Well, uh, the most interesting thing here uh, we'll get in a moment uh, is the insight trait. But uh, let's start with other stuff. So, uh, for, first off, Alessandra Sorsi can use this because it's a Harley card, so she can include this in her deck. It is too costed, and uh, well, uh, she has a good intellect of four, so this could work really well against uh, lower health enemies. Or, I mean, lower evade uh, value enemies, I mean. So, discovering two clues uh, for the cost of two with a parlay action with an enemy at your location. Uh, seems like a good deal. Of course, you need to have the enemy to 
do anything. And that actually um, is the same deal with the VAMP we already looked at. But, well, there are a lot of ways to get enemies to a location. Uh, then, another one who can use this well, the same girl, Rita Young. Uh, this is trick traded, so Rita can include this into her deck. Uh, Rita may not be really interested in having this in her deck because she has only an in intellect of two, so the test would be quite difficult and she can evade without this card. So I'm probably, when I'm playing Confound, not including it in a Rita deck, but this is the kicker. Um, inside traded, so Joe Diamond can use this in her uh, in his uh, uh, inside inside deck. So yeah, uh, let's talk about that a bit more because I'm really excited to include Confound in Joe Diamond's deck. So um, it it costs two. So if it's in Joe Diamond's uh, inside deck or hunch deck, I mean, I'm talking about inside deck, but it's hunch deck. So if you include this into the hunch deck, you get to play it when it re uh, comes out of the hunch deck. On top of it, uh, you get get to play it for free. It is a minus two cost for that card. And uh, Joe Diamond has a uh, decent four intellect. So, and and Joe Diamond is awful at uh, evading. So, I think this is a really good fit for Joe Diamond, in my opinion. Uh, you can play it for free. <clears throat> uh, you get to discover two clues at your location, and on top of that, if the enemy is not elite, you automatically evade it. And it doesn't ready, so Joe has even more time uh, getting clues and maybe dealing with the enemy later. Okay, well, um, these are just examples of the investigators that can use this card. Of course, any seeker uh, basically can use this card, except for Norman, Norman Withers, uh, who uh, upgrades to Mystic. But uh, let's get going with some card examples. So, again, Fine Clothes is a really good card for any parlay test. So, uh, the more parlay test you do with uh, Fine Clothes, the more uh, it is a really good addition to any deck running a lot of parlay events. So, for example, if Rita had uh, Fine Clothes on, she would be testing 4 versus X, which is already decent. So even Rita could use uh, Confound effect uh, effectively with fine clothes. The other card I'm just mentioning quickly here is Chuck Fergus. So Chuck, uh, of course, keys off of the trick aspect. And uh, I think there aren't any other investigators that can include Chuck and Confound in the same deck than Alessandra Sorsi. So I think Chuck will be a really interesting and good ally for, for Alessandra. Well, um, I think those were all the things I wanted to talk about, of, uh, uh, about the uh, Vamp and Confound. Uh, hope you guys liked this uh, preview for the Feast of Hemlock Vale Investigator expansion. And uh, I, as I understand, the expansion will be dropping in uh, January. And after that, in February, we will be getting the uh, campaign. So, hoping to get testing these cards before hitting my blind playthrough of the Beast of Hemlock Vale campaign expansion. So, hope you guys like this preview video. Give me a like and uh, subscribe if you feel like it and leave a comment uh, on how you would be using Vamp and Confound in your uh, deck buildings. And yeah, thanks for watching and until next time.